Outdoor Passion is brought to you by Prince Craft Boats, Dominate the Waters, Williams Lures, Trophy Takers for Over 100 Years, Sport Chief, the legendary Canadian outdoor wear, and Rapala World Records, World Class. <laughs> Hi there and welcome to Outdoor Passion. I'm Andrew Carter. If you love lake trout fishing, well this is the place. Today we'll visit Southeast Ontario on Lake Ontario for giant lake trout. Fishing for big lake trout is a challenge. They are smart. First we have to find bait fish and use techniques that will overcome their wariness. Let's watch. The destination of the week is brought to you by Williams Lures, trophy takers for over 100 years. Ontario's Prince Edward County is one of the most visited regions of the province. We love taking our time to drive along the many roads that crisscross the county passing farm fields, vineyards and quaint villages. With the big water boat in tow, we're enjoying the scenery, but we have fishing on our mind. Heading east, we always take the Thousand Island Parkway, our gateway to the incredible fishing of eastern Lake Ontario. This panoramic road follows the St. Lawrence River shoreline for 25 miles between Gananoque and Brockville. Year after year, this drive never gets old. Who can get tired of these views? Ontario and this region are dedicated to providing the best angling experiences possible, and that includes many free boat ramps that dot the area. Most have large parking lots and great infrastructure allowing for easy launching. Ontario's Chambers of Commerce have been proactive in promoting fishery resources for as long as we can remember. Our partner today is Pierre Leblanc, one of the locals who know his stuff when it comes to lake trout fishing. He'll help us as we try our luck. With years under his belt, it shouldn't take long before Pierre has us on fish. We'll be focusing our attention around Prince Edward County, and we could even try a few spots near Kingston for the giant lakers. This whole area is fishable, even if the winds kick up, as the many large bays and islands provide ample shelter. With any big water fishing, you need good electronics. We're using Raymarine's Axiom. It's great for locating fish holding close to structure. Its high definition resolution is critical for tracking down deep lakers. Once we track down some fish, we're going to see what they want to eat. With trout down between 100 to 120 feet, downriggers are the only way to reach them. Once the lines are out, we'll fine tune our trolling speed and see how eager these fish are to eat. Slow and steady should be the ticket. When conditions are right, we expect fast action. It's common for a few rods to trip at the same time, so we have to stay alert. That looks like a nice average size fish between uh, 10 and 15 pounds on yeah, the Williams. That's the, like, the average. Man. Yeah, good average. and. Uh, I'm going to take this one to Roger. Wow. A slight variation in trolling speed modified the lure's action and triggered this strike. The Williams HQ Spoon is always a great choice. One hot color has been the black hole. 
Its silvery black color is a killer in clear water. Ray loves adding an exude egg to the spoon. He's convinced it makes it work better. A black VMC snap knotted to a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader completed our setup. And what a result, the capture of our first deep water laker. Lake trout have been indigenous to Lake Ontario forever. Although present throughout Lake Ontario, we find fishing a bit better in the eastern section. That's probably because of the abundant structure found in this area. There's a lot of steep, rocky breaks and rock and gravel bottoms that make for ideal lake trout habitat. Because of the phenomenal popularity of salmon and steelhead, lake trout are mostly ignored. Lakers are more difficult to catch due to the slow presentations required and their preference for super deep water. Lucky for us, these fish are more accessible in the early part of the season. Lakers here can get big and easily reach the size of salmon. Lake Ontario is the smallest of the Great Lakes, but it's still super huge compared to most lakes around the world. It has a surface area of 7,340 square miles, which means endless fishing. This place can get nasty in a hurry, so smaller boats or inexperienced boaters need to know their limitations. You have to know when to call it quits and head in. It didn't take long for another rod to spring up at a depth of 115 feet and a lure speed of 1.2 miles per hour. Looks like a good hit, which means a hard battle is just starting for our pro. Wow, we've only been out for an hour and this is the fourth hit. One of today's best presentations is a large lure Jetson Coyote flasher teamed with a fly. To make it even more irresistible, coat the fly with some Supreme Smelt Gel. This type of trolling requires accuracy with depth and speed and the correct temperature zone. Scotty Downrigger makes this type of fishing so much easier. Wow. Lakers around here just love the Blue Hammer Fly from Port Hopper Flies. It's definitely a favorite with local guides. When used with a large lure Jensen Coyote Flasher, they are deadly. Don't use a net if you're planning on releasing your catch. Big Lakers come from deep water and need to be released cleanly with respect. Be gentle so they can survive. On the way back, we decided to spend a little bit of time in shallower water for some trophy walleye. When the lake's calm, walleye can be a challenge. They're wary in this clear water. We switch over to the electric motor to help us get into stealth mode. Using a remote controlled motor makes trolling so smooth and effortless. Walleye, like most big water fish, need to have lures presented just right. Pierre has the situation well in hand. The correct speed is dialed in, line lengths and color just right, and he's found a good concentration of walleye. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wow. Ah. Lift! <laughs> yes! Yes! Yes, sir! Wow! <laughs> ah! Monster fishing! <laughs> you know the business, Pierre? Wow, unbelievable, Pierre, with the first pass, a nice uh, super walleye. Uh, so, uh, Pierre, you were appointed by the MNR to do uh, some type of walleye research. Yes, yeah, so, uh, so, you're gonna tag some fish? Yeah, symmetry, uh, symmetry. Oh, tag. telemetry uh, research. Telemetry, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got a chips. Tag and chips. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Unbelievable the size of the walleye in here. I think when they're born, they're six pounds. Now, this is a walleye. It ate a Rapala deep husky jerk running near bottom, 30 feet down, with a lure speed of two miles per hour. Walleyes this size need to be released. Too bad it will be twice as hard to trick next time. While trolling for walleye, we came across a few more interesting species. 
Another nice bonus when we're fishing with Pierre is uh, some nice smallmouth bass. We don't mind cranking in some bonus bass. They always put up a good battle. These fish help spice up any fishing day. Prospecting Lake Ontario is not easy. You have to put your time in. It's a gigantic place and a lot of water needs to be covered before its secrets are unlocked. Navionics mapping used in good electronics like our Raymarine Axiom can help you focus on the best spots instead of just randomly trolling. We just dropped a large spoon near a school of alewife. There's gotta be a monster down there somewhere. Right at the very tip of this long, rocky outcrop is where we hooked this one. Without the mapping unit, there's no way we would have stumbled onto this fish. It seems bigger than we expected. I'm going to need a fighting belt. Oh, no. oh boy, we're in big trouble here. Wow, it's a laker the size of a Chinook salmon. Look just how wide the tail is. Now that's a laker. Because it's so large, it's best to keep it in the net when removing the lure. Even after a grueling battle, the work is far from done. Lifting a beast like this is no easy feat. After all, this is a fish of a lifetime. William's larger HQ spoon is credited for taking our largest lake trout of the year. This wobbler's green and blue on a genuine silver base and honeycomb scale pattern was the ticket. No real surprise here, Williams works anywhere we use it. Ray and Pierre have promoted catch and release for decades. Most of their favorite fishing grounds have remained productive for years. Some are even better than they were when we first started fishing them. A lot of their success is based on releasing fish. Lake trout live long and grow slowly. Giant trout are ancient and so valuable. Wow. <laughs> it's still shocking how few anglers sample the lake trout fishing of this area. The fish are numerous, and as you've seen here, they can grow to truly trophy size. The destination of the week was brought to you by Sport Chief, the legendary Canadian outdoor wear. After these messages, it's fishing with UV reactive spoons. Stay with us. Did you know that all Prince Craft boats are built entirely in Canada in a small town called Princeville in the province of Quebec? Every day, over 300 employees put their talents together to design, assemble, and deliver some of the best built boats in the industry. Princecraft works also with local Canadian component suppliers to ensure the best quality throughout their boats. By purchasing a Princecraft boat, you are supporting the overall Canadian economy and community. Princecraft. Dominate the waters. On the way again. On the moose, look. Genuine silver and 24 karat gold finishes reflect all available light farther and brighter. UV reactive, strike triggering, color pattern accents for more big fish.
Williams, and Moose Look. Spoon feeding trophies for over 100 years. For over 50 years, Sport Chief established the highest industry standards for clothing, shoes, fishing, hunting, and outdoor accessories because Sport Chief knows what performs in the outdoors. Our innovative apparels ensures your total comfort, created from ingenious concepts, enhanced with progressive engineering to protect you from the worst storms. They are long-lasting, waterproof, camouflaged, silent, breathable, and odor-resistant. Sport Chief, the best garments, shoes, and legendary accessories for the great outdoors. Check out sportchief.com. For the bass that thinks it's a bulldog. For the walleye that thinks it's a freight train. For the tuna that thinks it's a torpedo. For the tarpon that thinks it's a tarpon. You need the mono that thinks it's a braid. Suffix Advance, new advanced mono with HMPE braid molecules for strength, abrasion resistance, and low stretch. Suffix Advance, the mono that thinks it's a braid. For more than six decades, Princecraft has been renowned for building the best aluminum boats. Experts have consistently relied on Princecraft for its quality, durability, reliability, and performance. Whether it's fishing, water sports, or simply enjoying the water with friends and family, Princecraft has a wide range of products that will suit all your needs. Get yourself the exceptional quality and performance that only a Princecraft boat can provide you. Go to Princecraft.com to build and price your boat or to view our full assortment of products. Princecraft. Dominate the waters. The Novelty Minute is brought to you by Princecraft Boats. Dominate the waters. Ray Carigno and the Novelty Minute and the Blakemore Brush Gripper. What's this for? Well, this is a tool that can clamp on anything like trees, stumps, reeds, grass. So the more you pull, the tighter it gets. It's available in green or silver. If you don't want to use the anchor, because sometimes this will spook the fish. You can use a brush gripper to stabilize your boat. You can also use two of them, one up front, one in the rear, so you're gonna be fishing like inside the saloon. Let's say you're fishing for catfish and you're dipping base and you don't want the boat to move at all. Just use two brush grippers. So the stronger the current and the wind, the tighter it will keep the boat in place on trees, stumps. It's really an amazing tool, not very expensive. It's simple, but very effective. It's called the Blakemore Brush Gripper. That's great advice. This year, spoon lovers will have four new finishes to add to their Nipigon spoon collection. Again, Williams has outdone themselves. Available on several finishes, their new wrinkle process adds another layer of excellence. The fish scale texture along with the perfect finish really makes their new perch and candied ice pattern come alive. Each airbrushed finish offers custom-like quality. The mirror-like finish of the silver and orange really blasts light and flashes as it moves through the water. Silver and orange are a great combo. Williams' use of high-quality precious metals makes a world of difference. The flash it produces is much stronger. Yellow-orange is another hot combo. Super bright, they bring out the predator in fish. Williams took proven colors and matched them to make irresistible, more versatile, two-color super spoons. Great effort created stark contrasting hues that play well off each other. Those new finishes are striking, bold and brilliant, and excel in stained tannic water or during low light conditions when lures need to pop. They are UV enhanced. 
UV technology reflects ultraviolet light with greater intensity and fish attracting qualities under the widest ranges of fishing conditions. Each Nipigon spoon sports a unique 3D eye garnished with a chartreuse halo that is also UV enhanced. They are world famous for their use of precious metals like genuine silver and 24 karat gold. The precious metal produces amazing flash at any retrieve or trolling speed. You'll appreciate the ultra-sharp red treble hook. At times, that bleeding bait look really pays off. It's a slender spoon. At two and a half inches long, it's a perfect minnow shape and size. It's a legendary trolling spoon, but at one third of an ounce, it casts like a bullet and flutters like no other spoons. It's ideal for jigging on the ice. When used as an attractor with a fly or bait, it's a fish catching machine. The perfect trolling spoon. They're equally effective cast or jigged. Many monster trout and salmon were caught on the Nipigon, but we find them just as great on walleye and pike. The legacy of the Nipigon spoon is well known. Coupled with a new assortment of great colors, they're a must try. Nipigon spoons are always in our boat. Add up all these attributes and it's fitting to name it after the Nipigon River, home of the world record brook trout. That rapid is really good. First cast a hog like this, can you imagine? Still more to come with great tips on Lake Ontario giant lake trout angling right after this. Did you know that all Princecraft boats are built entirely in Canada in a small town called Princeville in the province of Quebec? Every day, over 300 employees put their talents together to design, assemble, and deliver some of the best built boats in the industry. Princecraft works also with local Canadian component suppliers to ensure the best quality throughout their boats. By purchasing a Princecraft boat, you are supporting the overall Canadian economy and community. Princecraft. Dominate the waters. On the way again. Oh, on the moose Genuine silver and 24 karat gold finishes reflect all available light farther and brighter. UV reactive, strike triggering, color pattern accents for more big fish. Williams and Moose Look. Spoon feeding trophies for over 100 years. For over 50 years, Sport Chief established the highest industry standards for clothing, shoes, fishing, hunting, and outdoor accessories. Because Sport Chief knows what performs in the outdoors. Our innovative apparels ensures your total comfort. Created from ingenious concepts, enhanced with progressive engineering to protect you from the worst storms. They are long-lasting, waterproof, camouflaged, silent, breathable, and odor-resistant. Sport Chief, the best garments, shoes, and legendary accessories for the great outdoors. Check out SportChief.com. For the bass that thinks it's a bulldog. For the walleye that thinks it's a freight train. For the tuna that thinks it's a torpedo. For the tarpon that thinks it's a tarpon. You need the mono that thinks it's a braid. Suffix Advance. New advanced mono with HMPE braid molecules for strength, abrasion resistance, and low stretch. Suffix Advance. The mono that thinks it's a braid.
For more than six decades, Princecraft has been renowned for building the best aluminum boats. Experts have consistently relied on Princecraft for its quality, durability, reliability, and performance. Whether it's fishing, water sports, or simply enjoying the water with friends and family, Princecraft has a wide range of products that will suit all your needs. Get yourself the exceptional quality and performance that only a Princecraft boat can provide you. Go to Princecraft.com to build and price your boat or to view our full assortment of products. Princecraft. Dominate the waters. Another great week on Outdoor Passion and another great lake, Ray. Oh, lake yeah. Ontario. What do we need to know about fishing in what is essentially an inland freshwater sea? Well, the first thing you need to know is that we're fishing very clear water, so I suggest that you use very long fluorocarbon leaders to fool those spooky monster lake trout and also to add some scent to your lures like uh, the Exude or Trigger X eggs or the Dr. Juice scent. So these are little details, but they will help you catch a lot more big fish instead of just having a boat ride. Also use very sharp hooks. And if you're doing catch and release, use barbless hooks or single hooks. So that's very important. That's great advice. Thank you for another great trip, Ray, and thank you for watching Outdoor Passion. Hope you get a chance to get out in the great big outdoors this week. And remember, if you do, try to leave the resources just a little bit cleaner than when you found them. We'll see you next time on Outdoor Passion. Outdoor Passion was brought to you by Rapala World Records World Class. Princecraft Boats, dominate the waters. Sport Chief, the legendary Canadian outdoor wear, and Williams Lures, trophy takers for over 100 years. For more information or to contact us, visit our website at www.outdoorpassion.tv.